Paradeck for the math classroom. This is video six. We're going to be looking at draggable interactive slides that you can use in the math classroom. So let's start off and let's take one of our slides that we had. Let's make it a draggable. So this one, uh, maybe we look at, maybe we have a different question we want to ask, you know, which bin represented the, the most number of sky jumpers in this data set. So we go to the draggable, and I could have it be a dot. I can change this to a heart, thumbs up, a star, whatever you want to turn it into. Don't like the red. I can make a different color. I can change the size of it. See how you can change the size of how big does it need to be. Um, you'll see in my example, you got to be careful here. I made one that was a little too small. You'll see here shortly. Um, so you don't want it to be too small. You don't want to make them too big where you can't see all the students' responses, right, or specifically where they're putting their response. It's too big. So you got to figure out the right size. I want mine to be about as big as the bin. So maybe that's the right size for the star. So you update the slide. And there you go. Now this, this slide here would be the dragging slide. Okay. Um, let's take a look at some examples. Well, first, I almost skipped. Let me show you the slides we made for these. So here's one. Can you still plot points from your pre-algebra days? I made this. I didn't pay attention to how big the, the points were. I made my points a little small. You'll see that. Um, here's one. Which one doesn't belong? The classic. Um, here is a, how was the homework ass assignment. This is one of the, the templates. Matter of fact, this is a template as well from Pear Deck. So how was the homework? Um, here's another one, how are you feeling in the lesson? So these are more templates that could be used in any classroom. I don't use the draggable as much for specific math um, applications. And then how well did you do in the lesson? You know, they can drag, thumbs up, thumbs down. So let's take a look at the student view. So here's the one I was talking about. See how my points were really small? I should have made these a little bit bigger. I made the mistake of making the points way too big in the past. So I went a little too far the other way this time. So uh, they're a little small, but you see how you can drag them around, right? So student can drag it and maybe they get the right spot. Maybe they make a mistake. It doesn't matter. You'll be able to tell if they made mistakes or if they got the right, right answer. That's one. Next one. Here's this. Again, they could drag the thumbs up somewhere else, wherever they want to vote, so they all get their vote. Um, how was the homework assignment? Drag, well, yeah, it was great, or uh, horrendous, or somewhere in between, they put where they where they think it was at. Uh, here's a good one, how they're doing in the class. Um, I'm a little confused right now. I need some help, or I keep going. I understand you get a good feel for where your students are at. And then how well do they like the lesson and give you a thumbs down and give you a thumbs up or somewhere in between on there. So then how do you see those responses in your teacher dashboard? Again, it's hard to see the points, but here are the points. Um, you could be looking at a bunch of them and kind of scanning real quick to see which students got it right, which students got it wrong, or you could be just kind of scrolling through at a little bit larger depending on your eyesight. And then this one here, which one doesn't belong? So you see I had the one here, but you see where everyone voted, right? You can see where everyone's voted if they're, everyone's picking one of the, the options or if the thoughts are all over the place. You know, how is the homework? Um, there's our one vote, but you can imagine seeing these all over the place. And you can share these with the class. You can share them all with the class so they can kind of see where everyone else was in the class if you want to share with the entire class. Same thing here. All right, I'm a little confused, but you'd see how many dots are keep going, how many are a little confused, yeah, how many are stop, I need help, and you can decide what to make a decision how you want to move forward in a live classroom environment. And then finally, how did you like the lesson? So um, these were all examples of draggables. Again, I don't use these as much uh, for the math questions, but they are good for uh, taking the pulse of your class. Hope that helps.